but but this is actually based on so I don't know if you know this is actually Candy Man that not the Candy Man self, but the story of Candy Man was actually based on a true story. Um, is it, oh, I thought it was a short story by um <clears throat> it's based on a short story by um Clyde Barker. Clyde Barker, yeah. But it was actually based on and I believe it was Detroit, Michigan. And the I want to say it was in the late seventies, early eighties. Um, a lady was complaining about somebody was knocking on her bathroom mirror. Actually, a lot of neighbors were talking about they could hear somebody walking through the walls, knocking on the window. I mean, the um, the actual medicine cabinet in their bathroom, and people were dying in this project. Mm-hmm. So what what happened was. <coughs> This pillar was actually going through from apartment to apartment in his projects. And he was coming in through the bathroom, through the medicine cabinet, and actually killed robbing and killing people. So the Candyman story is actually based on a true story that actually happened in projects. I believe it was in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, wow. So, oh, well, the movie's characters were based on that. Because the book is kind of like, <clears throat> the book is similar. But not True. really. Like there's there's concepts and the concepts and ideas from the book are there, but the movie is like completely different from the book. But I do yeah. see what you're saying with the whole like the, uh, the damn medicine cabinet thing. I didn't know that. I'm gonna have to look that up. That's that's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> and this isn't like an urban legend. This is like something that legit happened. Really happened. Yes, real thing. But has it become like that urban legend? That thing that Can everybody is afraid of. Actually, give me a second. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Because that, that that's one of the interesting concepts of Candyman, the idea of exploring like urban legends. Like when I watched yeah. the movie, it made me think about my childhood and the elementary I went to. And then like uh there was this thing that we had like these downstairs bathrooms that nobody went to, like they were always locked up. And they were like, Oh, somebody died down there. Like there was a kid that was killed down there. And then also like there was this whole idea that there was um it was popular at the time. So there was a killer clown on the second floor and the second floor bathrooms that nobody could go to. Those were always a little myths or whatever. And it's funny because I ended up working at that school later down the line and the myths still lived on. Like, it was crazy that these are, this is like at least like 10 years, like after I already left. Uh, well, actually like eight years, eight years after I left and the legend still lived on and it was almost the same identical story. So it's kind of crazy that how these urban legends live on through time. That this is a real story, and it actually took place in the south side of Chicago. Oh, damn! Okay. And, where, where it from, basically. and yes, um, there was a serial killer going through the bathroom mirrors and killing people. Um, and there was a narrow patches, uh, passage between the apartments. He was going from apartment to apartment, and he was coming through the actual medical. Yeah, this took place. Um, at the Amore, uh, McCoy's apartment in the south side of Chicago back in the 80s. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Damn, I'm gonna bring that up. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. But again, like that, I can, well, obviously that must have influenced the, the directors and the writers for this movie immensely because that's mm-hmm. kind of scene for scene, like, well, not scene for scene, but that's pretty much a large portion of the movie because when she opens the mirror in that one room, she sees the opening to the other room. And they talk about, oh, that's supposed to be how the killer got in. And that, that was actually a really big part of the movie. So that's really interesting that they took that bit in that piece. And I see, and even the Candyman remake, a lot of stuff that they did, they tried to take things from like actual plots that, or actual things that existed, especially with the um, the other, other members of the Hive. Now, I have problems with the Candyman remake completely, but that's a video for another day. But. Mm-hmm.